Sewage, rotten eggs. If we had smell vision you would turn the channel on this story. And neighbors in one part of town have to deal with the stench every day. So what's causing the odors? We found out. See all the turkey? It's a little slice of heaven right in the middle of the city. My grandma lives across the street over here, and I just love being around all the nature and the wildlife that's around here. Matt Martin bought his house without ever having stepped foot inside for these views. But under the surface of this picturesque neighborhood lies a chronic problem. Kind of smells like rotten eggs. Will burn your nose, makes your eyes burn. You just can't enjoy your backyard. The Dell subdivision in West Wichita and its hundreds of residents live day in and day out with an odor so strong it spills into the intersection of maize and maple. Uh, it smells like sewage. Literally, you don't you don't want to be outside. The culprit. This stagnant waterway, once maintained by a now defunct homeowners association, now it sits and stinks. The problem is buildup from years of decomposing leaves, lawn clippings, and fertilizer runoff that causes algae to grow when it's warm. And when the weather cools, that algae dies and the smell comes to the surface. Uh, there used to be an exit and an entrance that we could open up and let the water flow through. Martin is right. You see, in the 50s, when the Dell neighborhood was built by a private developer, they rerouted Cowskin Creek to create a private waterway for neighbors. Over the years, the uh, Homeowners Association disbanded, and the infrastructure that they were responsible for maintaining hasn't been taken care of. But since this is all private property, it's technically not the city's responsibility. But Cake News Investigates called to see what could be done, and the city took action. The city does care. We, we realize that they've got a challenge there. Any solution that they would like to tackle, we're 100 percent on board. Don Henry is Wichita's assistant director of public works. He and stormwater engineer Joe Hinkle did test after test, and they found four possible solutions. The most expensive is to just fill in the creek. The least expensive option, and one successful used by other neighborhoods, aerating the water and adding fountains to create flow. But who pays? Well, the neighbors. That would be a private arrangement amongst them. But we could do some things to help them hold the cost down. Uh, we, we could help them with, with some of the technical solutions. For now, it's up to neighbors to come together and decide on a solution. I welcome you know any help that we could get. Sometimes when you have this many people that are sharing the same waterway, it makes it pretty hard to get something done without maybe the city coming in. This is a tough situation without a homeowners association to manage the project, but Cake News will continue to work with the city to find the best and least expensive solution. We'll post the city proposal in more detail with this story online at cake.com. In the studio, Krista Miller, Cake News on your side investigates.